Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Commando QS4. You always score with Commando QS4. After the last episode, I actually played another episode and recorded them back to back and I thought I had enough space on my drive and I didn't and it, for some reason my recording clicked off halfway through. And I, yeah, anyway, that's my bad. I hadn't cleaned off a lot of my old files from uh, my seven days to die recording. I thought I had wiped everything clean and I hadn't. Uh, you know what thought did, right? Anyway, so yeah, so we you can't see that battle. It was a two skull battle. It was supposed to be a more difficult battle. It was supposed to be against uh, a, a single lance of mercenaries. The scatty ended up getting shot down by an 80 ton uh, vehicle with four AC5 Mirdrins on the first, like basically it, we got shot in the back first turn it flew forward the next turn this friggin vehicle opened up and murdered it fast so um, long story short that was the only one that got shot down we we managed to kill the enemy relatively quickly we were actually spawned on a hill which was like behind them on a hill which was good so we had the height advantage anyway long story short we did pick up a few things now I could have gotten uh, if we go to Mech Bay first, okay, let's just talk about the Quick Cell Valkyrie because I didn't realize I had enough parts to put one together. So I just actually, because I was just actually going in there in the storage to check out the components to be able to show you what we got today. And I realized we could put it together, so I did. So let's have a quick look at that first. So looking at this, we got a lot of stuff. We got both upper recoils. So that opens up the possibility for us, which... So I guess it doesn't matter if you have the weapon in the arm or not. The recoil mount basically works regardless. So just as a stacking re recoil reduction, that's my guess. It's the only thing I can think of. Now this was the LBX PPC one I put together, which we didn't get, unfortunately. But if we just do a uh, quick repair on this. So we got the grenade variety pack, the... Uh, Double heat sink, some peel and stick armor, a couple of heat sinks. Okay, so we didn't do too badly. Sensors with searchlight. I want to replace the commando. This gives us an extra five tons, and the armor is almost fully maxed out, which is great. I mean, I'll probably max the arms out. We'll work in it in somehow, but just straight up max out what we can. Um, but before. Actually, how much is that? 141? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to strip the gear, though. And I think what we'll do... So with the gear stripped, we're at 22. Uh, we definitely have to have the arms maxed out. So let's do that. Actually, let's max out all the armor so that when it comes... Because it, if you're actually putting them back together, I'm sure you guys know this. The armor is what... If you're maxing out the armor is what usually costs a lot and takes the most amount of time that and adding in like an XL engine and stuff but armor is usually if you're cranking it up can actually be pretty costly and take be time consuming so to do that while you're actually doing a repair like this before you actually construct a mech it's it might actually end up costing you a little bit more money in the long run but it's easier to take off armor than it is to put it on so let's just validate this at least that's what I find okay so, that being said, let's have a quick look. Right. And I should have done it while I was there, but let's, have a, let's go in with the avatar. And I'll show you what we picked up. So, um, as far as the internals went, let me think now. I got a... So I tried to stay true to the playthrough, and I picked up an advanced zoom Mark II. Because we do need a zoom on the commando. Um... I think it's the commando we need. We, one of our mechs is missing one. So we definitely needed that. And I also picked up, if I can find it down here, sensor long scan. So plus 33% sensor range. So that was pretty cool. I thought I'd grab that because it was something I hadn't seen before. And then what else did I grab? I can't even remember now. 
I know I was trying to... Oh, it may have been a double... I think it was a double heatsink kit. I think we actually picked up a regular double heatsink kit. Yeah, because we got the quick sell one, but we've also got a regular double heatsink kit, which is something we needed. Like, we just couldn't get away from that. So, I'm pretty sure that was the one I... That was what I picked up. Oh, we got two of these. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, we've got those now, which is great. Um, and then uh, we ended up picking up... We go back to the base here. We ended up picking up two of those vehicle parts. So it's an 80 tonner. Let's just go down here. There was a Chimera. There was a fire starter. Uh, another vehicle. And then... Where are you here? Partisan. Here it is here. So this sucker here. Four AC5 Midrans. But it's got no armor. So I had three... I could... I could choose three things and I thought about choosing this but because like I said I'm trying to stay true to the playthrough with my main lance it's the only reason why I didn't chose ch chose it choose it but well, we did get two pieces so if we do encounter another one hopefully we will sometime in the future we'll be able to put one of these together now this thing would work great if it stays back at a distance and just fires and you know attracts enemy LRM fire but it's not gonna last too long Especially like it's 80, it's 80 tons, so if we're using it later game, it really doesn't have the armor to stay too long into a fight. Now, what else do we have? We got a bunch of stuff we can put together down here. So the fire started. That, so wait, where's the? Uh, I think we got one of the parts of the mech, the mech too. That's not it. Oh, the the Jess was the other vehicle that we were facing. 4 LRM-15 Telios. So we got two pieces of that. That's a 70 tonner. The mech was... I know we got like one or two pieces of it. I can't see it here though. It was a Chimera. It didn't really... It didn't impress me though. The fire starter was a newer fire starter. Mostly flamers, but it had an ER medium. It went down pretty quick. I don't think we got any parts of that. Not the hazard. Anyway, I don't see it here. Oh, there it is. Chimera. 240XL. ER large. It just had a few lasers. MRM 20 launcher. So, I mean, it wasn't too bad. Didn't do, mu didn't do too much. We were behind the hill most of the time. So, we can't put together... We can put together the quick sell Hetzer again. Oh, I didn't realize we could do that. Let's grab the old one. We'll confirm that. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Well, that's awesome. Quick sells backstabber heads are you bet. All right. That's going to go back into the main lance, though. We're not going to use it in the secondary lance as much as I should. But you know what? We're going to use it in this battle. We have to because the one I'm going to be taking today is going to be a bit of a uh, ordeal. So let's get the tasks, or let's get our mechs and pilots back anyway. I was going to go with the main lance, or the secondary lance, for the next battle. Ooh, Valkyries. Right, that's the other Valkyrie. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the mech bay before we go. Um, but like I said, I didn't get that recording done properly. So now is it you that doesn't have the... Yeah, you have the exchanger and bolt-on. And you don't either. Are we missing it in most of these? You have the advanced optics. So... You guys both need them. Who needs it more, though? You know what? I'm going to leave it off for now. Because we're going to need the firepower more than anything in this battle. Alright, this is going to be a tricky-ass battle. So, we're going to go to Command Center. This is going to be a two-skull battle. It could be good or it could be horrific. We're going to take this guy right here. Uh, inbound dropship belonging to the planetary government. And it's a... Uh, that's not it. Where is it? Right here. Yes. So, a heavy lance was inserted, on, inserted onto the planet's surface by a Marian dropship. So, most likely, well, I don't say most likely, 
there hopefully will be some quick sell items here. But it's two skulls, and it's a heavy lance, so it could probably mediums and maybe a heavy mech. I don't know. But we are going to take this with full salvage. We're going to go in with both feet and hopefully not get killed. And the main lance should populate. There we go. Now, um, I think we're going to leave the scatty out for this one. And we're going to take the Hetzer. Because it is the quick sell Hetzer. Now, I don't think this pilot's got any Hetzer experience. Right? Come on, tell it to Mr. Ripley. You do not. But he is the part of this land, so he's got to stay there. Now, I don't think Junker's got any Hetzer experience, do you? No. We're going to keep you in the fire truck. Yeah, that, that mission, the fire truck, did some good work, too. It was actually the one that did most of the damage against the uh, the partisan. I raced that anyway. The fire truck's awesome. Uh, I'm not going to even. That's not even a. That's not even up for debate. So, and we were actually able to do our the same thing we did to the Centurion last time, which was basically drive up right into his. The uh, the Chimera was the last one left, and he overheated, so he just drove into his face and burned him <laughs> until he died. Uh, anyway, good times. All right, let's go and not get killed. Yeah, I know. I'm terrified. Command interface initiated. All right, now this has got to be a situation where we divide and conquer here. Depending on our terrain, this does not look like it is ideal. So they're across the water. Oh, they're in a valley. Oh, I see. Oh, I don't like this map. This one is always giving me problems. There's very little room to maneuver. I love how they mirrored the terrain here. Um, so they're probably like a guy here, here. Ah, man. If I take the height and they're really good and they got long range weapons, it's not going to help me. And if I go here, we're grouped, and it makes dividing and conquering. I mean, it doesn't really matter where I go in this map. I can't divide and conquer, really. This puts me in a position where at least I'm down ready to fight. I'm just trying to, I'm remembering the battle we had here a while back with the Royals, where we got bottled up here. But they had more, a lot more guys. We're going to have six, and they're going to have... F Technically, it's only one lance. If it's two, we're fucked. If it's just one, we're okay. I'm going to go right here. That hill looked juicy, but we don't have the long-range firepower to go toe-to-toe go -to -toe at long range. We don't have the armor for it either. So we're going to have to divide-conquer and just swarm people quickly. The fire truck, I think, will probably be the key to keeping the worst of the units tied up. I've got eyes on hostile ah, shit. They're heading your way. Of course there are. There's a spider, so it's not too bad. What are we up against here? Clint's. Quicksell Clint's. Oh, well, it's 40 tonners. Swordsman, Vindicator. Two Quicksell 2s. His missile weapons are down. And his are down. What does that mean? It means he's probably got a handheld uh, LBX. A flea, so I'm not that worried there. Hellspawn. We just faced one of these guys, so that's not too bad. We faced it with a heavier lance. Quicksell Trebuchet. Well, there's the parts we're looking for. Okay, so not so bad. 600 armor. So the Vindic... Oh, there's a Vindicator too. Light Streak PPC. Mech Grenades times 3. LBX. So these guys are slightly damaged. So I'm thinking that these two Clints have got to go first. Oh man, but they've still got the... Uh, they've got spawn protection too.
Hmm. Okay, let me think about this. The trebuchet, we don't want to give him a direct line of sight. He's probably got, these are all quick cell, well, of course he's got four quick cell LRM20s. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, hopefully he runs out of ammo quick. Uh, oh, God. I think this first turn is just going to be about maneuvering. All right, let's uh, move over here and brace. I don't think we got the we don't have the speed to get into play first turn. So let's see where the let's see where the chess pieces land after this first turn. The fire trucks like on its side here. I await your command. We'll move and brace. Yeah, I think we gotta take these two Clints down. They should go pretty quick. Clints generally don't have a lot of armor, but they're quick cell, so they might. I don't know. Vindicator's maneuvering. Standing by. How fast are you? Not fast enough. Should be hidden from the clinch there. We're gonna take a Double pot time. shot. Let's go. Uh, this may be bad though. Like, I don't know if that uh, trip what the trebuchet is gonna do, but no, we'll leave the rockets off for now. Thought it was the ER yeah. medium that would be in range there, but it's not. Okay, let's get you down here. Understood. Moving fast. We're gonna have to be careful how we dart in with this thing, but let's get down there. Ready for orders. Uh, I'm gonna go here, I think. Roger. And we're gonna brace. One of the Clints is already gone. I don't think the second one's gonna move to engage. I just don't have the feeling that they're ready to do that yet. Oh, me? No. Oh, maybe he is. Thunderbolt. Nope. Mech grenades. Do they think they can hurt me? Good to go. Oh, well, they can definitely hurt you. Oh fuck. Now the question then becomes, do we go? Oh, if we go here, we're gonna lose chance you know what? Uh let's go here. We're gonna take the shot. No target. He's moved, so he's lost his spawn protection, kind of. We're going to take the shot. We're going to see what we can get here. So what do we got on you? 25? 22. We got, four, we got seven turns of firing, though. Is he going to last seven turns? That's the question, though. I don't think this thing is going to last seven turns. Let's go all in on this guy. Like oh, he hit too. Oh, I thought we were going to kill him there for a second. Okay, here comes the rain. Well, I'm glad I braced. I guess he's using swarm. Systems holding. That's all you got? Don't tempt fate. Okay, we're gonna we're pushing. Cause fuck these guys. Let's move. I don't care about these guys. We're gonna just we're gonna smash these two down here and even the odds. This turn. Yep, let's crank up the machine guns. This should be 
goes the leg. Scored a Okay, what are you doing? All right, you fire your LRM-5 all you want. Hell, I'll give you four or five free shots if you want, just as long as you just keep shooting that thing and don't engage. Let's get into here. I think we're gonna try for a kill on this Clint. We're going to be taking the trebuchet parts, so... There's a lot of armor on this thing. Let's go for what we can kill here. Attacking from position. Goes this whole side. Scored a critical hit. Receiving you. I'd like to max the salvage, but... I'd like to get the kills before <laughs> we get killed. You know what I mean? Let's try and get the kill. Confirm. There we go. I hope we can salvage that. I don't give a fuck. Commander. I want tread pieces. It's 50 tons, baby. I think here gives us less of a chance of uh, hitting our own guy in the back. Let's not jam, we're gonna go with four. Okay, two hit and two medium lasers hit. Standing by. You know the drill. Roger. We gotta drop recoil, so I might as well back up and do that. Get some evasion. Get one of our machine guns back, that's nice. I hope we get a flea kill with this thing. I hope that flea just gets completely obliterated by this Hetzer. Ooh, what are you up to? You're gonna... Sure. Happy with that. Could've been way worse. Alright, Jenkins. I live to serve. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Let's not go in the heat, though. Get to here. Got it, Commander. Don't miss. We can't hit our own guy here. Guy's in a bad oh, this guy's in a bad shot spot, but uh, we'll take this shot. Roger that. Nice. Got past the armor. Probably in the torso. Hopefully it was a CT hit. No, it was arm hit. Ah, yeah, damn it. I wonder what he's up to. Comes the rain. That's gonna take its toll. Damage is minor, Commander. Damage minimal. He gets the peel and stick repair. A little bit of cheat armor never hurt anybody. Okay. We're coming back this way this turn. Here's why. They got three guys over here with direct fire, plus the up direct fire from here. So if we come back this way, we negate the three guys that are on the ground with direct fire. Or three over here? Yeah, three over here. It negates their direct fire, and we only have to deal with these three. So that's the plan, Stan. Here. I'm going. We already damaged his arm. Let's try and take it off. Let's get his throwing arm. Welcome. My alpha strike. Ooh. The painful alpha strike it was. Commander. What did he say about pom poms and skirts? I missed that. I'm going to have to listen to that back in uh, post. My god, that was hilarious. Yeah, here I am saying it's hilarious. I had no idea what he said. Get decked out in pom pom skirts because he's ex damn excited now or something. I wonder if we send this Hetzer a 
think we're okay over here now. We're gonna go after those guys. Let's go. Let's let's give them something to worry about. We got two turns before we can get there, but got the other machine gun back. Beautiful. Yep. Copy that. I was gonna move farther, but we'll worry about that next turn. We gotta get this guy gone. All weapons fire. Even if he's not, he's not moving very far. How'd that taste? We should be able to kill him this turn. LRM5. Thanks for being here. Ready for orders. He gets the I was at the battle trophy. <laughs> I copy. I was at that battle. Did you do anything? No, but I was there. Solid connection on that one. It's going down. You're going down this turn. We got two more guys to go before you. Hell spawn. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting he's got the uh well that's a lot of heat. Minimum damage. Thank god it's the got desert. It. That should Stop. disappear pretty quick, hopefully. Receiving you. All right, Scooter. Doesn't matter, you're gonna be hot regardless, so... Let's just get over here. We may have to leave off something. Nope, I'm not. Um, let's go for the kill. I gotta get rid of this guy, so let's go all in. Targeting for an God damn it, you missed... The same time last time I put the rockets on, you missed with almost everything. What's up, boss? All right, big sex. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine there. Acknowledged. Oh, see ya. That's a kill. Two down. Odds are even now. Yes, thank you for that. He didn't do much there. I guess he's out of... Oh, you know what? He is an LRM-80. So, he's going to burn through anything that he's got swarm-wise pretty quickly. If he's got one ton of swarm, it's gone in two turns, right? Yeah, see? He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows the threat on the battlefield. Yeah, the fire's gone. Good to go. Well, if they're going to give us this flea... Oof, that's not really great, is it? Hellspawn, I think, has got one more flurry of uh, insanity. Let's try and take this flea, and then we'll figure out where we're moving at from here. We can't go too far because of our heat right now, so we might as well just take the uh, low-hanging fruit here. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, he's going to go now, though. That's all right. We'll give it to him. He's not going to stay in the battle, I don't think, unless he's got balls of steel. Okay, I was wrong. You're an idiot. Standing by. He's an idiot. I'm walking here. All right, let's leave that on. We'll turn off these two. Drop some heat and get a shot in this guy here. Target confirmed. Okay, good damage. Oh, I like that shot. So did I. Should be able to kill that flea this turn. Then maybe the swordsman? Orders. Oh, this is tempting. That's 25. I have no idea what that's going to be. Probably like what, 30 or 40. I can't get far enough along this road. 
It's going to be shot at by everybody. I mean, I could pull here. Let's do this. So they got to worry about getting a knife in the back now. That's about the equivalent of having a pawn about three squares away from the uh, opponent's goal line. What that is. Could be a queen. Can't just let it sit there. Let's not give... Oof. We'll take that. I'm going to drop recoil. I'm going to drop the uh, rotary off this turn. Holy shit, that's a pretty bad chance to hit. Taking the shot. We're not going to get this flea. What do you need? Uh, I take it back. Never mind. But we can't get in there with the junker either. Is this the Vindy? It's the spider. Let's take a shot. Uh, how much ammo do we have? We got lots still, kind of. Another eight turns. Not enough. Standing by. Scooter, man. I gotta put you in harm's way for a moment. Ah, oh, shit, that's terrible, eh? Garbage. Do I risk it? They still got three guys to go. I'm not going to risk it. But because we're going to be exposed to this uh, swordsman, got to make sure we get ahead of him next turn. Okay, not too bad. Hopefully the streak's hit. Locking on target. Yep. Not enough, though. Okay. Take that. Oh, he bailed. It was enough. I take it back, and now we're up. They still got their heavies left, though, so... The chaff is gone. Sure. Lay some minefields. Fuck's sake. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Well, at least it saves us a little bit. Ready for orders. Okay, they got three down here with fire support. It's 30 mines. We could go after... I think no matter what we do here, we're gonna we're in for a battle. Do you know how warm you are? Not warm at all. It's a light streak PPC, so oh, it's got the LBX as well. Okay, no we're gonna have to we're gonna have to move to this side, I think. Yeah, I took a couple. 
landmine hits. Let's go for the best chance to hit here. So, who do we have? Yeah, I'm going to not fire everything, though. So, it really is you. I think both of these two guys can come off. But we'll leave the cam on. It's barely putting anything in. But the streaks can stay on. Confirmed. Firing. Nope. Nothing. It's all right. I'm ready. It's all right. I know I shouldn't be grouping up. Fuck, really? That's where the sprint's going to take me? Let's walk it over to here. Let's go all in on this uh, swordsman. So only got 600 armor. Got See if we can claim this guy this turn. Probably not, but let's get a good start on him anyway. Ready to get it on. Get into there. Roger. It's making us really fucking hot here. Leave off the ER medium. Fire the rest on this guy. Target confirmed. No. Streak hit though. Yeah. That's fourteen. Still fourteen. All right, full speed. Crazy as this is. We're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this, and we're gonna hit this guy. Attacking from position. Okay, not as good as I was hoping, but we'll take it. Ready for orders. <laughs> Let's give this guy a fuck you. That's twenty four. We gotta be as close as possible here, I think. They're already a little better there, so let's hope we hit. You got mines? Oh my god. Please don't miss. We got a double 20, baby. Yes! Screw you! Fall over. No, of course not. Why would he fall over? We don't have anybody left. Oh, we got big techs left. Oh, that's interesting. Full miss. Alright. Waiting for orders. You think you can uh, knock over that... Without getting shot, that is. That puts you in a sight range of the hell spawn. Although you got half decent armor, not that afraid. I think we need to knock that guy down. Sixteen. So what if we do? Apparently I can't, uh... I can't walk. I can't create waypoints. I had this problem last time, too. Why is that? Alright, we're gonna take the mines. Going full throttle. Yeah. Guess we gotta take this guy. We need at least one hit, so let's wind it up and hopefully hope we get one hit. Yeah. Nice. Alarm ammo explosion. Redirect. Knock down. Okay. What's your play? Okay, did not see that coming. Well, I thought this was the Hellspawn. It's not. The Hellspawn was over here. Right. He's probably dropping heat. Come on, man. Clear the minefields for me. 
Light damage. Holding firm. Okay, he he just got a bit of heat. This guy's in a bad place. Sorry, take it back. I'm in a bad place. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a lot of mines. I'm here. Fuck this Vindicator. Let's shut him up. Let's shut him up. So I guess it is really the Marians we should be going after. These guys are using a hell of a lot of quick sell stuff. We got four on. There you go. That should shut him up this turn. Although it puts me dangerously close to that hell spawn. But we'll see what happens. Look at the evasion on this thing. Wait, did this guy just die? I think he did. They're down to four. I missed that. What happened to the trebuchet? Did he, like, fire all of the LRMs and then just bail out? He's like, ah, fuck this. I'm done my job for today. I'm not handling that friggin' mech anymore. Uh, 25. <laughs> 35, 40. 42. 40. 33. Thirty-six. Sixty-two. Okay, this puts me not in a position to shoot anybody, but gets me out of the minefield. Yeah, I know. Fuck, oh, fuck there's more over here, too. I just couldn't see them. Well, at least they're incendiaries. Well, I was going to say at least they're incendiaries, but, you know, doesn't help us. Okay, he's gonna sit there. Receiving you. He's gonna think about what he's done wrong. Okay, let's get on the swordsman. He's too close to us for my for my liking. We got to get rid of this guy. And I think we're hitting him in the proper side. No. Whatever. We're hitting him on that side. Roger. Yes. Got something you want done? Oh yeah, I'd like these minefields gone, but uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon, now is it? Oh, it's only thirteen. Still, we're going to heat up here. All right, let's get over here. Roger. Full speed. We got to stick together. What can we shoot on this guy? Let's just drop the streaks on him. Hopefully they hit. Roger that. Nope. Not today. That trebuchet, while short-lived, certainly did his job. He's fucked us up pretty much here. Going for the heat. It's me, he. Yep, Let's get the fuck out of these mines. That should be the end of them now. But we got a chemical fire on us, but... Do I take the heat this turn to just go all in? I don't think we're going to get a shot like this again. So let's take it. All right. I think things are going swimmingly. What's up, boss? Now the question is, is how do I want to handle this with you? I think we want to move here. Roger. Just move, not sprint. We're going to brace it up here. Drop our recoil. Hopefully get our machine gun back. We will. And I was thinking about using the... Uh, um, resolve on him to get initiative next turn, but I think I want to wait to see how these guys play their moves 
and hopefully be able to get a back shot on somebody here. I mean, the spider, fuck the spider. If that Hellspawn turns, then he's the number one target. What's up, boss? You need to move. That's what's up. Let's go right here. I get you. On the move. Not moving enough, but it's going to be enough to get a shot off at this guy. Uh I know this isn't going to do much for Well, uh, we can stay under heat here. Let's go this route. Engaging. Nice. There goes the AC. Reporting critical hit. Excellent. Ready for orders. Okay, we can keep the Vindicator overheated. So we really want to get this Swordsman then. Let's go here. We're going to burrow him, like we always do. Burrow through one side. Uh, damn. We got to drop heat. Let's just do that. Taking a critical hit. Standing by. You're not in a very good spot. Get over here. No shooting. Just left. Finally get out of these fucking mines though. Let's go this route. Copy that. Hey, we're having a party afterwards. Yeah, it's a barbecue. You want to come? Copy that. I don't know if he's, if he's going to be able to make it. He's a little slow. <laughs> uh, oh, that guy's meleeing down here. Okay, nice shot. All right, Jenkins, we're going to go with Vigilance. To get ahead of these asteroids. Acknowledge. Get on his weak side. Please don't miss. Leave that off. That could be problematic. Um, so we are burrowing from that side. He's got 30 left there. Let's go with the two Rexes. Just quick sell for the win. Taking the shot. There you go. Hope we can salvage that. I don't. I mean, if we get a part of it and we can put one together and then scrap it and sell it, great. But if not, it is what it is. Here comes the fire. As long as that's all he's doing. Armor. Watch my heat levels. Just my things can't take much more. Shut the. Fucking whiners, the whole lot, the whole lot of ya. It's gonna be a better shot than that, so we're gonna pull into here. Let's move. Battle's almost over. All right, please don't miss. Here it comes. Oh, we missed. Good machine guns, though. Oh, he wants to come to the barbecue. Oh, you know what? We don't even need to touch this guy. He's going to burn out. He's held two or three now because he's overheating. Commander. Pilot takes damage. Remember? <laughs> yeah, remember when the Centurion went down? Remember how that went? That's how we lost one of our pilots. Just leave him alone. Just shoot the combat shotgun. Alright, not bad. 22, 22 damage isn't bad. For the low percentage chance to hit, we'll take it. So the Vindicator's done. Yeah, saw that coming. 
but you've put your back to my rotary rifle. Standing by. Heading out. Gonna walk it up, get our stability back here. Wow, it's terrible. We'll just fire the streaks. Fail to connect. That's alright, we drop a lot of heat that way. Standing by. Okay, so I don't even need to touch that guy. 75, it will be better if we're out and shooting him from the side. 80, there we go. Yeah, so the trees basically gave us the plus one to hit. So it's like an extra 5% if we're not in the trees, which is why we get the 80. So let's go after him. Attacking from position. Three hits. Starting the barbecue process. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could stick, like, a little... Oh, he's got chem laser, so he's not going to heat up at all. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. I'm going to have to stick a, uh... Ready for orders. Some kind of figurine on the top of that fire truck that just sits on top. It's like on a picture head. of a little... A, 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 it's like a figurine of a kid with a shit-eating grin, and that's where the flame nozzles come out of. <laughs> he's got this hose, and the flames just come out of the hose. Uh, anyway... Uh, we're not going to drop recoil here. Actually, what can we do against you? 32%. We're going to use the heat on that guy, though. Oh, called shot in the Vindicator now because he's going to go down this turn. Um, let's, not go, let's not go too high with the recoil. We're not going to get the kill anyway, but let's just get started on him. Yes, Commander. I want to be—I want to be able to smell the turd that he drops in his pants when we all shoot at him next Heading turn. Up. Garbage. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll drop this one this turn, though. Actually, let's drop both lasers. I want heat next turn. Oh, I will put the incendiaries on because those are bolt-ons. Target locked. It's go time. Yeah, I think you know what. The rockets, the uh, bolt-on rockets, that, didn't do as much in this battle as I thought they would, so I think we will switch them out for targeting computers if we can. Yes, Commander. I mean, really, technically, it's a no-brainer to go with the targeting computers, but sometimes you just... Oh, you're the double. Uh, we gotta drop recoil, so let's just do this. Location confirmed. Firing on rear arc. Nice. That hit something good. So the Vindicator's down. Yeah, so I mean the targeting computers are the way to go, I think. At lower levels, I don't know. Like, I mean, you get a little better chance to hit with the pilots. But sometimes that the, the knockout punch you get of 15 rockets can really make, make or break a, a fight, you know? You just need that extra little hammered on somebody, right? So we're eight. Wow, that's a really good chance to hit there. It's the same there. Why would it be the same? We're going to go here, though, because then the uh, combat shotgun won't cluster. We can get a big, big hit on him when we hit. Let's wind it up. Hammer him. Primitive. Yeah, see? Cobra strikes. Now I gotta say, Orders. I probably already said this multiple times in multiple uh, missions, that I wasn't expecting the quick sell stuff to actually be this good. I don't. Okay, I don't want to say this good, but perform this well. I guess is the best way to say it. It's performing very well. And then I miss everything. <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? It's like I don't know why you talk sometimes. I should just stay quiet. Like, why do I do that? Just so that I can't get shot in the back here. Let's just drop some recoil. We'll just fire the medium lasers. Locked on rear armor. All right, we got one hit. Nice. Gyro crit. Beautiful. Solid connection on that one. Aye aye. Understood. Who wants to go to the barbecue? The hell spawn. The hell spawn wants to go to the barbecue. The We're 
We're almost out of fuel, though. Receiving you. I do feel sorry for that guy. I'm interested aye, aye. to see what this AC-20 will give me here. We are going to take the shot regardless. 22. I've hit with less. Uh, yeah, here you go. Ah, oh, we missed. With everything. It's alright. Negative damage. Commander. It's alright, buddy. That is alright. Let's see if we can get this health spawn to bail out. Shoot him! Copy that. Ooh, the streak's missed again. Yeah, see, I don't know, man. Like, streaks are great for the extra bonus to hit, but there's something to be said about that regular SRM. Right? You're, you're saving 50% weight, and you often will land one or two shots anyway, right? Oh, he's going through the minefield. Waiting for orders. I don't think he can see it. I don't know, it's a toss-up. I think later, late game, streaks aren't as important. Early game, yeah. I can kind of see them. Standing by. Hey, where are you going? Don't you want to stay here and be my friend? Roger that. Yeah, I missed with everything. Please just stay here and be my friend. Alright. Someone's still got some fight in them. Showing minor damage. I will be done. Yeah, I'm not even hot. Nice. I'm your spaniel. Got a little bit of heat, but not much. Question is oh yeah, we're good. We're gonna fire everything. Cause fuck him. Ooh. Get the hits, get the crits. Solid connection on that one. Standing by. Firing. Oof, I thought he was gonna fall over there. I'm here. I should just drive right up to his face, but on my way. We're gonna park right here. Hey, you smell that? It's barbecue. <laughs> See ya. Ready for orders. Thanks for being a part of the game. We'll take a pot on shot. It's gonna be garbage chances to hit, but you never know. If we land this shot, it's gonna be the most hilarious thing ever. Putting one in the back. Nope. Damn it. That's all right. Machine guns are unjammed. I can't go any closer than this, though. He's running right through minefields. I don't know how we're going to get him. Unless he comes back to fight. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage in the legs, probably. Orders. Let's not damage this thing too much more. Let's just go with the machine guns. Roger. Panicking. Good to go. All right, big sex. Hammer him. Someone's not having a good day. Come on, bail out. That. Oh, he's gonna hang on, is he? Orders. What do you think, Metal? Do you want the kill? Should be okay there, I think. All yours. Taking the shot. Yes, there you go. Ooh, see ya. Target eliminated. Mission successful. I think if we had played this battle on a snow world or a green planet world, hell, even a jungle, we would have lost. We would have lost because of heat. Because the fire wouldn't have gone away, it would have stayed there for quite a long time. We'd have been in the fire, and they wouldn't have. And we, I think we would have, uh, we would have had a very hard time shooting at them.
but the fact that the fire was disappearing like almost every turn I think if it had stayed around there was a big jungle fire well I don't know like it would have affected us at first but then it would have kept burning and maybe affected them I don't know that was a good fight though that was a really good fight I'm shocked that we actually didn't lose like anything really that's uh and with the Hetzer didn't even get a kill it did a lot of damage though like I, I, I think without it if we had just gone with the scatty it would have gotten shot down and then we would have been down one unit the Hetzer though that it performed really well all right so what do we want now let's go to storage Ooh, there's three full trebuchet pieces We've got two already. And there's a full Vindicator. So here's the thing. I could take a Treb piece and take two Vindicator pieces and hope I get a Vindicator. Or I could take three Vindicator pieces and have a full mech and hope I get a tre one Trebuchet piece in the roll. It's a difference of five tons. But I think I think that's probably the odds wise, that's probably the better way to go is to take that guy and hope we get one of these in the roll. Because if we take two of these, hoping to get one piece with the rest. Like if we take one of these and then two of these, yeah. Hoping to get what the last piece in the roll is going to be very very low odds wise at least this way we've got we know we've got a full mech for sure and the odds are greater that we might get another one there's like a ton of shit in here too that we could i'm not even gonna look at it nope we didn't get it got the swordsman piece though because of course we got the swordsman piece lrm20 quick sell compact life support uh yeah you can just fuck off um <laughs> xl's gotta go uh, peel and stick. I'm going to hold on to it. It is quick sell, so I'm going to hold on to it. Probe King. King of the probes. LRM ammo. Normal. We've got three. I'll hold on to that for now. SRM can go, though. The dead fire will hang on to. Whisper sensors. ECM. So it's just a, a minor ECM. All right. Okay, well, we got a Vindicator. Uh, I mean, sure. Alright, 28,000. That's not bad at all. I thought for sure we were going to be in a lot more trouble, but I think that was the right move. Pulling those two clints down right at the very beginning. Then divide and conquer, bouncing back and forth. You know, right side, pull the hell spawn over to the right a little bit. Then bounce back to the left again. Take on the guys on the ground. I think that was the right way to go. And the trebuchet burning himself out like that. I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage. I don't know. Like, I know he took a head hit. And I don't think he was overheating. So something else must have been going on. I don't know. Maybe he took... You know what? Maybe he bled out. He could have been bleeding. When he took the head hit. And he may have very well bled out. And that's a very high probability. Because, you know, me and my perception, I'm not even going to see that, right? So um, let's have a look at the mech bay here. Wow, this is like one of those rare playthroughs that I've actually got money to put mechs together for some reason. And you know what it is? Most of my mechs are XL or um, Omnis or Omni exclamation marks. So it's uh, it's giving me a um, an advantage here. So let's ready the let's ready you. So the Vindicator is going to be the new mech for um, when we when, the, get the, when we get this thing up and running. It's going to be the new mech for um, Jenkins. So this guy's got it says five hard points. Really, that would make sense. The, the lights have all got three hard points. It would seem maybe these mediums have got five or more. We got the LBX PPC in there. All right. So we got some new gear to, to uh, play around. We got thermal mass, mech grenades. What else do we got? The double heat sink kit stayed. This thing can fuck right off. Um, speedy leg actuator. Quick cell pharaoh. Searchlights managed to survive. So we got a few things. We got a, actually a fair number of the uh, 
the quick cell double heat sinks. So if we can put together a relatively cool build, we could run with these guys. Because we don't really have the ability to run with the regular double heat sinks. We got we gotta put two in here somewhere. So this guy is really left side heavy. We've got a weapon in the leg too, eh? Well that's an interesting thing. So if we try to stick with similar build to what we have now, do you have two hands? You do. So you can run the combat shotgun. Now it's like six tons, so we're gonna have to put the uh the QS structure in this thing. Which do we have it? We have Clan Pharaoh too. That gives me more space. It adds a little bit of weight. But it also maxes out the armor. Because you lose with the uh, Pharaoh QS um, you lose 5% of your armor and then you reduce the incoming damage by 5% and I, I was trying to figure this out the other day like in the, like I was actually going to bed and I'm like why would anyone use the QS and I'm thinking well if you think about it if you're getting constantly hit by LRMs you're immediately knocking off one point of damage so if you're if you ran and you're in the open and they shoot you with an LRM 20 and you get you get hit with 10 of them let's say take 50 damage you're losing automatically one off of every missile so you're only taking 40 damage right away. So you've already saved 10 damage right there. And then if you're braced and stuff, you might, rather than taking three points, you might only take two, or two points, you only take one. It would, because it automatically will take off one point of damage of any missile that you get shot at you. So it's a bonus versus missiles, really. But against most stuff, it really isn't that big of a bonus. Like it's, like a, against a medium laser, you're only losing... You know, it would. I guess it rounds up, so it would be it would save you two points of damage. So it's not. I mean, I would rather have, you know, an extra five points of armor on here. But then I guess if you're hitting no, because over time, yeah, over time it's it's better. I think. I think it's a little better over time. I'm not sure. So, yeah, minus 15% armor weight, but minus 5% armor points multiplier. Oh, I see. So we just lose the armor, we don't... Oh, I thought it had... Never mind, I'm an idiot. I thought it had... Uh, is it the Duralast? Duralast is what I'm thinking. Minus 5% damage taken, but increased armor weight. I thought it was the same thing, where it reduced the incoming damage, but also reduced your armor, but it doesn't. So the Pharaoh is better. Uh, max armor and I'm gonna pull off all of the other stuff and we'll do a build afterwards I can actually just strip equipment because that would be faster wouldn't it with the exception of the double heatsink kit which I want to leave there for now because I don't know if we're gonna keep that one or not 318,000 that's nothing we made that in that mission let's get the Vindicator going So probably what I'll do is oh, next episode, I want to wait for the results of the, the polls. I know there's some people voting because um, I was able to have a look at a little bit of that today. So the polls for the building of the avatar. Um, now we've got recoil compensation. So if you want, if you chose something already in the, the poll, but now we've got recoil compensation and you would like, like, let's say you decided to go PPCs instead of rotaries because you didn't think we had the recoil reduction. Well, we do now. We, we got the two shoulder mounts for, um, from the Vindicator, not the Vindicator, from the, uh, the Valkyrie that we just got. We're running out of space here too. This rabid coyote is trying to get it in. I'm trying to get it in play, but it's like, it's just become on the back burner of everything now. So we've got... Here we go. Yeah, we've got the two upper recoils here, which will give us minus two recoil already. Like, so it's not it's not the greatest, but it's better than nothing. And then hopefully we can find like a recoil compensation uh, fire control system at some point. Because I know there are... Uh, 
there are cock or not cockpits uh, fire control systems that just reduce like jam chance so I think I would rather go for a jam chance than recoil reduction so this is possible we could go this with the rotaries the rotaries are one to six shots three recoil per shot above two five percent jam chance per shot mitigated by gunnery so is that regardless of probably and then if we're firing like if we get the first shot off with sabo ammo ammo plus 60 percent armor damage so because it's a heavy rotary or heavy rifle it does the heavy do 60 damage so plus 60 percent is 96 damage per shot with a pair of those straight up on somebody's armor yeah we're gonna jam but if we have a good chance to hit like these the rotaries aren't gonna get uh, they don't have misfire so they'll freaking jam but we use the avatar to step up hammer the shit out of somebody everybody else swarms around them like bees and takes them down and then the then the avatar retires behind something to get its re to get its uh, recoil dropped and its weapons unjammed then it steps back out and does the rinse and repeat so it's the, probably not going to well, it might get a lot of kills against lighter lighter units but against heavier units it won't it won't get a lot of kills but it'll be responsible for the mechs getting killed most of the time if we go with the rotaries. PPCs, I don't know. The, the silver bullet and AC-20, I don't know. That's just going to be straight up stripping armor continuously. Um, and what was the last one? Oh yeah, the plasma cannons. That's just a straight up overheater. So once again, it's just a support. It can just melt the enemies while we, while we like basically stop them from firing at us. Each one is a different playstyle, right? The PPC is the sniper that stands back and um, tries to pull legs or whatever we can do with it, or just you know constantly inflicting like three weapons that do 75 damage each. Although I think the heavy PPCs have damage fall off. I know the clan, the clan ER PPC does not, but the heavies I think have damage fall off, don't they? They don't. Well, that's interesting. So they don't have damage fall off. So out to 720. Yeah, we got three weapons doing 75 damage a pop. That's recoil of one. This is recoil of what, two? So it's only five recoil. We would still stick these on here. So that's a little better. So we'd be firing like probably two, maybe three turns and then taking one turn to stay silent. So I could build my heat sinking on that where we could build up a little bit of heat each turn and then drop it all in one turn when we drop our recoil. That's a possibility. And then the AC-20 Silver Bullet Goss is really a close-in and attack build. Right, you want to get close with that to maximize the number of pellets that are hitting and maximize your clustering. Yeah, and then the Rotary is the Strip Armor build. The Plasma Cannon is basically the uh, um, crowd control version. But let me know what you think. Yeah, like I said, if you've already made a choice, now that, now that you've seen that we got recoil and you want to go back and change it, um, just put it in the comments. Just say, hey, I voted for this, but I want it to be this instead. And I'll just tally that up as I'm going through. And then we'll, out, we'll outfit this guy as we see, um, as, we, as the results come in. I'm going to probably wait till like the end of the week just so people have a time to you know see it and, and comment and stuff. But then, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll use it use the avatar a certain way for a couple of missions and then switch it up just to see what the other one like how another loadout would do like if we go with the rotaries then maybe we switch it up to the ppcs and just see it see how well that does although i got a feeling looking at just the sheer numbers just the numbers the rotary rifle with sabo ammo doing 96 damage a pop with 12 shots and unloading everything on turn one or even if we want to, we could alter. We could just fire one, you know, 
and then switch to the other side and fire the other one. So if one jams, we still have another one. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of recoil, but it wouldn't be as much as if we were firing them both at the same time. So we could alter left, right, left, right, and fire every turn. So instead of doing, you know, 1,200 damage, we're, we're only doing like 600 every turn. That's like having... That's having like a that's like having a rotary to AC twenty on there, with the Sabo ammo. Now, like I said, once the armor is gone, then you're 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 only doing thirty damage a pop to the internals. But at that point, the rest of your mechs are running cleanup and finishing them up anyway. Like why would like I don't know like why would you go with a rotary five or a rotary well maybe a rotary ten but because you can't you don't have Sabo ammo. Like, and you got to use specific rack ammo. Like, I could understand using a rack. Like, if you had a rack 10 that could use regular AC-10 ammo and you filled it with incendiary rounds, that's a fucking joke mech right there. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, oh no, here comes the, uh, here comes the dire wolf. It's got a lot of PPCs. And then the thing just steps out and just hammers them with, like, two, two, two rotary, uh, rotary rifles full of uh, incendiary rounds and the thing just melts like it's like oh, you're okay I don't care how much that mech costs it's just it's completely out of the battle for the rest of the battle now it'll just melt down on turn one anyway I'm going on and on but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments I'm thinking the rotary rifle build is the way to go but I'm happy to put whatever you guys want on I'm, I'm cool with that I don't care It'll be, it should be fun. To me, This the second lance is whatever. It's like, however it ends up, it ends up. And it, uh, 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 even like, if you have like, what you guys, I mean, you guys kind of seen what I have, but if you have ideas for other crazy loadouts, I will just do it in the second lance. I don't really care. Because really, it's this is really the quick sell playthrough. So I'll be doing more. I'll probably be doing like three quick sell missions and two lance two missions uh, a week. So... Um, just to keep the quick sell side up and hopefully we get more quick sell gear at least it's fast to put together and we're making we're making uh, we're making bank but we're only making bank because you know we're quick sell right like if let's face it quick sell is the way to go like i can't see you know in in 30 what is it 3162 or whatever the end game there's a reason why quick sell is still around and people are using it because it's the only way to go baby you want to beat the clans go quick sell <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go over to uh, my channel and check out the poll and uh, vote on what you want the avatar to be. And uh, also make sure you buy some quick sell gear because, you know, damn, it's definitely worth it. Proved it today. Until next time, we'll see you later.